Welcome to the Quiz the Music Man podcast. I'm Tony Underwood. I'm the Music Man. This is Pooh Bear. I'm going to put him up here so I look at the camera and not just blindly look around at other things. So it keeps my attention. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to answer some of the questions that people seem to ask me um, about success. Uh, usually they want to know how do I learn to play an instrument uh, and then later what do I do with this knowledge do I become a uh, singer do I become an instrumentalist do I go on to college what do I need to do uh, those are really the top questions that I answer I have a music school and uh, there's a, a dance studio next door and we teach acting and, and different things and uh, we've talked a little bit about the secret to learning to play an instrument, the secret to practice. Uh, in the words of Alan Iverson, we're talking about practice, which uh, not making fun of him or judging, but uh, I think it was funny that uh, he's actually, that whole thing is a textbook of uh, some of the stuff we're going to talk about uh, when he kind of had a little difficulty at a, a press meeting and they were blaming him on not coming to practice uh, as the reason things weren't going well and uh, his if you can google it watch it uh, it's part of a uh, documentary about him as well and uh, not taken away from him he's a fantastic individual and he's done very well uh, but even people who are at the height of their power you can see things can happen. I've had it happen. Uh, it happens all the time. But what you do is, uh, you know, that's like saying uh, nothing bad's ever going to happen to me. Well, it's always going to happen to you. You just have to learn how to deal with that. Uh, and we've talked about breaking your practice down into little tiny bits. Uh, so in other words, if you're playing piano, you grab a handful of notes, the first five notes or the first three notes and learn them and learn them, play them over and over and over again. Uh, two, three hundred times and then move on to the next three notes or four notes or whatever and play them two, three hundred times and when that hand gets tired switch to the left hand start learning the left hand and it sounds tedious and boring but it works it's what it is uh, we've got podcasts about that so go listen to them and we'll talk about it more uh, because what I, one of the things I've found as an educator is you speak, but it's not received. And I know that too, because a lot of times a student will tell me something, and then days later I'll say, wait a minute, you know when that student said so-and-so, I really should have said this or done this. Uh, so anyway, we're going to talk a little bit about why you might not be successful at things, playing an instrument, uh, schoolwork, your career being a singer, being a songwriter, uh, being a nurse, whatever it is. <laughs> We're going to talk about the, it really comes from uh, the old time that I took journalism classes. I don't know if anybody's ever taken a journalism class. I hasten to say many journalists have never taken a class because uh, this is what you should answer in the first paragraph. And it's the who, what, where, when, how, and why. So it's who, what, where, when, how, and why. Who? A bank robber. What? Robbed a bank. Where? On 3rd Street. When? At 10 o'clock this morning. How? He busted through the door with his truck. Why? Uh, that's a little harder to answer, but, uh, you know, it could be he drank too much. He decided to drive his car in, take some money out of his ATM, but... Uh, he was a little, had a little bit too much to drink. Uh, I don't know. So how does this apply to you and to you being a success? And what I'm going to say is success is something you have to define. So we're going to say, I want to learn how to play the guitar. You have to define that success. I always ask my students, you know, put your virtual reality hat and transcend time. And a year from now, you come upon yourself sitting in your house playing your instrument. How is that going to look? What are you going to be playing? Uh, are you going to be finger picking yesterday or Blackbird or uh, a classical piece? Or are you going to be singing? Are you going to be strumming? Are you going to be playing heavy metal? What is that? Because unless you kind of know where you're going, 
uh, you're never going to get there with any kind of definition. So the big problem I see, and uh, like I said, I see this in myself, and none of this stuff I'm telling you is I dreamed of. This is, I've just stolen this from other people. Uh, but I've seen this, and it's, you have to start here, because if you don't start here and find out who you are, nothing else you do will ever quite have the uh, success it should have. Now, a lot of people just do this uh, automatically, naturally. You might have known somebody growing up that was a certain way, had a certain personality, and they've kept that personality all through life, and whatever they're doing, they use that personality. Uh, and, you know, maybe they're always worried about people getting in line in grade school and turning their papers in and so forth, and now they're teachers or police officers or something that's, uh, you know, you can readily see, oh, it's just like a little mini uh, police officer or mini teacher. Uh, or you've seen people that were just drawing all the time, and now they're in art or they're in some uh, fashion, industrial art, making movies, something like that. Our kids always, I got a basketball with him. Well, he went on to play basketball or to coach basketball. But if you don't have a good handle on that, if it doesn't come naturally, you have to figure it out. And uh, it took me a long time to figure it out. I don't know that I'm quite there yet. But uh, how do you uh, do that? Because if you don't, you might be what's called a success. You might make a lot of money. You might have accomplishments. You might have the uh, admir admiration of your peers. You might, you know, all these things. But um, it's not necessarily going to be uh, an easy life for you. It's not going to be the, the success, the goals when you accomplish these things. They're not going to have any value to you. It's going to be hollow. Uh, and if you want to, you know, look no further than our current situation, this is in August of 2020. And uh, we're in the United States, which means what? COVID-19 is rampant. And what's happened for the last several months? Everyone's wish was granted. Your wish was granted. Because I don't know if anyone has not said to me before that, oh, I would love to just have a little time off I'd learn to play guitar or I'd go learn coding or I'd go take that hike or I'd sail around the world or whatever if I only had the time well guess what we've all had the time and in the US we have more than most <laughs> uh, somebody told me there was 90 there was many sides to this issue and I said yes there's 195 I believe sides that's how many countries give or take it depends on what you call a country and uh, but there's only two sides. There's just the U.S. and everybody else. In the U.S. we're still rampant. Everybody else got to handle all this. Uh, got a handle on this. But uh, but anyway, uh, you know, do make yourself safe in all this. I'm not making light of this situation. Make yourself safe. Do what you need to do to get through this. But I have to say, it's hard for me to laugh off the fact that people have all this time. <clears throat> I've actually done free and open lessons and uh, on Facebook and said please come join me just text me we'll do it a different time during the week it's free to the adults or uh, adult children of people who are already enrolled and you don't know how I mean you know it's literally been the thousands of people over the last 10 years that have said oh I just wish I had this time much we had time well you got the time and guess what you didn't do anything with it the reason is I submit you don't know who you are <laughs> Um, and how do we go about finding out this? I'm going to go a little bit into this. Uh, this will be a whole uh, another uh, uh, podcast. I've done podcasts on it. Because, you know, you have to be true to yourself and the people that you deal with or you're not really serving them. You know, if you're in a business, you know, you're never going to be happy. You're always going to be looking at your clients as just, you know, they're taking all my time and they're always so mean and they're this and they're that. Uh, and it's because you don't know who you are. You haven't really figured out what you should be doing. Plato said that justice is pers everybody doing what they should be doing. That's justice. And really, you have to find out who you are. 
Uh, and some of the ways to do that are to take a lot of different tests. Don't rely on one test. Uh, ask people who knew you when you were 7 to 10 years old and ask them not necessarily what you did. You know, I've seen people, oh, all he did was go out and, uh, you know, play outside and just didn't do nothing. Well, the people that saw him uh, when he was outside, all he was doing was looking at bugs and looking at animals and uh, curious about those things. So maybe that person needs to be in a field where there are a lot of animals and uh, things. And, and it's not a one-to-one. -one. Doesn't mean, you know, you need a job just finding out information about animals. What it means is that surrounding is makes you curious. That surrounding energizes you. So a person that loves to play sports and uh, outside or inside uh, might want to have a, a career associated with that. They might want to run a sports bar. They might want to run a, a sports pool. They might want to run a sports equipment store. They might want to run a gym uh, or develop an organization that helps kids play sports uh, or be a professional athlete. So uh, ask people around you that knew you when you were younger. Uh, make lists of things you did and just sit and think of what you did and how that felt. Uh, I was uh, always good talking to people. When I was a kid, I could talk to adults really easy, and so everybody says, well, you should be a politician, you should do these things, and uh, I didn't try to be a politician, but I did do some of those things, uh, but really what, they didn't work out because it was not a one-to-one. -one. Uh, the fact is I like uh, entertaining people, uh, so uh, that's why I've kind of uh, made my career a little bit closer to that. Now, I don't go off uh, on the road because uh, I kind of wanted a family, so I didn't want to do that road stuff. I tried it. It was just not for me. But now with social media and stuff, I can perform. I give two live performances every week and, and so forth. Uh, so I've really found that niche. So find out who you are. There's different ways of doing that. There's a lot of different uh, aspects to that. But make sure you find that out. And then... What do you do with that? Uh, you know, a lot of people have said, well, just make a lot of money first, and then you can play. Like Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank and Mark Cuban. And I'm not saying they don't have decent lives, uh, but they've never stopped making money. I mean, at some point, billions, that's enough. Uh, what's your goal? I mean, none of them said 10 said, I want to make 20 billion. They probably had a few hundred million, and they made that times and they're not playing they're not doing their other stuff so do that do that make sure you uh, can uh, connect who you are with what you want to do and listen I'm not against making money that's definitely part of the process um, but don't say well I'm gonna make a bunch of money and then uh, that's one of the, the traps I got into. Well, I'm going to do this then. I'm going to get this degree and then. Or I'm going to build this kind of business and then. Just do that other thing. Go right to it. Uh, and I think it's courage, procrastination, and all that stuff. Not knowing. Uh, people tell you what's good, the safe thing. Well, for them, they're sitting around. Oh, yeah, that's safe. Well, uh, you know, the Titanic was safe. Uh, and, uh, you know, all these things are safe. But they're not. Uh, they're just as... Uh, uh, risky as anything else. Uh, so look around and try to connect who you are with what you're going to be doing and then uh, research it. You know, research things. Uh, you know, I want to be a nurse. Well, have you ever, do you know a nurse? Well, no. Uh, do you, anybody nurses in your family? Well, no. <laughs> uh, any friends you can shadow? Well, no. So go do that. Find your, your uh, family and friends who are nurses. Talk to them. Go talk to nurses. Go volunteer. Now, these days it might not be a good thing, but you, you get what I'm saying, architecture, any of that. Go volunteer. Uh, see what it's like, you know. Uh, I would say go volunteer at a, a, you know, soup kitchen or something. See if you like, you know, doing those things. Uh, that's how you kind of find out what you do. And also, do you do things and the time just keeps to go by and you don't think about it? You never really real, remember learning it. You know, unless you took lessons or something, but you don't remember really learning it and time seems to fly. And everybody says, oh, yeah, that's...
Tony, he's going to be a basketball player one day. He's always playing with that basketball, which is not. But still, that's how you know what to do. When? Then you have to plan it. Don't be just a dreamer. Be a dreamer and a doer. Uh, plan it. Have a mission statement. If you want to do a business, do a business plan. And I say, if you're going to do anything, start your social media campaign. If you're going to be an athlete, start a social media campaign right now on Instagram. Uh, you know, future NBA star. I'm, you know, I'm John. I love playing basketball. You know, I'm in third grade. <laughs> uh, I play with my friends. Do you like basketball? You know, that you probably won't have an Instagram at that age, but if you're a middle schooler, high schooler, teenager, adult, put that stuff out in social media. Start connecting with people. Uh, and start now. Where? Once you get an area you like, find your niche. You want to zero in on one thing. You know, you want to play basketball. You don't want to be a forward and a center and a, a coach and a this and a that. You want to zero in on one or two things that are relatable. Uh, get you a niche and focus on one thing and stay there. Uh, where are you going to do that? Uh, are you going to do it in the area you're located? Is there another area you need to go? I tell all my uh, performers, take some time over the summer and go to New York for a, a week or two weeks over the summer. And do the things everybody does. You know, they're, they're cliched and all, but just do them. Go take summer stock. Go take summer classes. Immerse yourself. Go meet people. They'll tell you, ah, oh, you're too young, kid. Get out of here. But to, go meet them. Give them your resume. Go do those things. Then take a week next year and go out to L.A., or to Chicago, go with somebody or have a buddy out there or someone that can look after you, but go and just do those things. Get get involved in it uh, and see where you need to be. Uh, and then how? Get you a step-by-step -step plan. How are you going to get there? Uh, I'm going to uh, plan it out. I'm going to take these classes in high school. I'm going to shadow this person. I'm going to donate my time. I'm going to go... Uh, volunteer here. I'm going to get the summer job here. I'm going to see if I can get an entry level position, you know, and move yourself up and take this college course and on and on and on. And connect with people in that industry. That's what your social media can do for you. Uh, if anyone gives a lecture, go to it. Uh, I have kids that want to go to a college in music. I'm like, you look at whatever instrument you are or related instruments, those professors, when they give a recital, go to it. Uh, see if you can go in and make an appointment and talk to them. Uh, get to know them. So, because uh, you might find you don't want to do that and you don't like these people, it's the wrong college and, uh, you know, whatever. Engineering, same way. You know, what papers have they written? written uh, what jobs did they have? Uh, go talk to them. What are they working on? Are they working on any projects you could get on? Could they do a project at your school? Uh, so uh, that's your how. And then, you know, ask yourself, why are you doing this thing? Does it connect with your who? Does it connect with who you are? Is it something that makes you feel energized? Is it something that makes you feel a purposeful, that you like what you're doing? Can you make money at it? You can. You need to, whatever you do, you can monetize it. But some things, you know, I've just come to the, some people, you know, if they aren't making $500,000 a year, it's not worth it. You know, they can make three hundred, dollars but they don't realize they can make $300,000 a year and live like they're making $3 million, But, uh, But that's okay. Uh, if it's not that good, if you don't think you can do that, find a related field where you can. Uh, so I'm just, that's the who, what, when, where, how, and why. I'm going to throw some things out. Uh, try new things for a week, a month. Uh, try, try different foods. Uh, you know, don't eat, what is it? Uh, what is it? Uh, what's the, uh, the flour? La uh, not lactose, lactose intolerant. Gluten. <laughs> Go gluten free. Uh, try this diet. Try those things. Uh, you know, try, uh, get a job at a theater, see if you like that. Uh, get a job at a law office. Uh, you're online now, you could probably do a lot of things and see if that's the stuff you like. If you can sit home and do the, just the little menial stuff, the, the, the stuff that people say, oh, I gotta do this before I can, 
If you can get through that in a field, you're going to like that field. Uh, don't think, just do. You know, get your learning, get your education, continue to do that, but just do it. You know, I'm going to go volunteer at this uh, food kitchen. I'm going to go see if they'll let me volunteer at a school. Maybe I can go pass out papers at a, a college, or maybe I can work at an event center or something. Uh, just do it. Um, you know, research, Google what happened to lottery winners and trust fund kids and people who were born into old money. Because there's nothing wrong with money, but, you know, some people have trouble with their bills. You know, they can't handle making, you know, $10,000 a year. Well, if you can't handle $10,000 a year, you're not going to handle 100000 or a million. Uh, you're going to get taken. Look at all the, you know, NBA players and NFL players and sports players that had a lot of money and lost it. And uh, I'm going to say, don't say it can't happen to me. It has happened to you. That person is you. Uh, and see the difference in who has what they have and what they did for it. I read an article that uh, the NFL and NBA players, when they get drafted, they're already, some of them, millions of dollars in debt because people have lent them money based on knowing they're going to make it in the draft. That's a pretty poor way to start. And uh, I know some of them have said their mothers have sat them down and said, I want a million dollars, or I don't want to see you again. And let me tell you, uh, I'm not judging people or their, but you need to be where you can say, okay, well, uh, we're not going to see each other anymore. And when you can come back to me and treat me with respect, then I'll think about repaying you for what you've done for me. And you know, you got to have a little respect for yourself. Um, there's no motorcycles at therapy. I've heard that. I've heard that. Uh, so uh, do some things for yourself. Uh, do some Zen things, uh, surfing, hiking, motorcycle riding, uh, anything where you're using your body. Take some dance classes, uh, go to dances, uh, those kind of things. Uh, set goals and plan for things and then do it. Uh, make up vision boards. Google that. Do a vision board. Uh, write your plans down so you have some set plans for and put a time limit on it. Always tag it with a time. Within six months, I want to have worked at a, uh, you know, I want to have worked at an architect's office, at a, a engineering firm's office, you know, an attorney's office. You can hit all the big ones. Uh, somebody said one of the things that changed their life is plan tomorrow today. Get into that habit. So tonight, when you before you go to bed, plan what you're going to do tomorrow. Start easy. Three things. What are the top three things? Um, I uh, I once saw a person who taught getting a at the time uh, uh, just a sheet of paper, and every day, every night, you write the top ten things you need to take care of in the priority for the next day. When you get up, you start at number one, and you don't stop until that's finished. Now, the only way you'd stop is if there's absolutely nothing else you can do. Like if you have to uh, photograph the full moon, but it's not going to be here for three days. You can get everything ready to do that. But do your top ten. When that one's done, you cross it off, and that next day you're going to make a new list. Go to number two. Um, Routines. Get yourself into good routines. Set yourself up for success. Uh, take away your roadblocks. A lot of people put up roadblocks for themselves. I do it too, uh, but people do it and then wonder why they don't make it. Uh, you ask somebody a, about, you know, say, what would you do if you were going to be in a restaurant? Oh, well, you know, restaurants, you know, 50% of restaurants fail and you've got supply issues and people steal from you and all. And, and that's all the negatives. So if you're planning, go through all the positives first and find ways to get them and what you're going to do to get them. Then bring the negatives out and solve them. You know, uh, now there are instances where people uh, are telling you negatives and it's not a bad thing. Maybe that's, you need those people. And maybe you need to feel like that sometimes. But start with your positives. So then when you get to the negatives, you've already got some ideas and you're not just sitting there tearing yourself down and down. Uh, 
get out of bed routine. Get up early and have a routine uh, and make them short. Don't spend, don't start out with socials and things or spend a time or pair it with something. I can we'll brush my teeth and all that while I'm listening to social media or watching it or whatever, uh, listening to the news. Uh, make the good things easy and the bad things hard. So, uh, you know, uh, and I've always said, use your powers for good. <laughs> if only this person would use their powers for good, like Lex Luthor and that kind of thing. Uh, not that I have anything like about Lex Luthor, but um, a Stoic, I heard uh, one of the Stoic mantras is, love everything that happens, amor fate, they call it. Whatever happens, love it. Which kind of comes into ownership. Own your life. Own these things. Say, this is what happened. I need to do my best to fix it, to get out of it, to get out of its way, to go around it, whatever. Don't sit there and, and lament that it's somebody else's fault, even if it is. It's not that, you know, I, I don't, sometimes I say, well, people blame other people. Well, sometimes it's their fault. But don't waste your time blaming them. That won't help you. You know, you've got to get used some of this life. Uh, you don't have side hustles. Uh, all your other routes are to support your goal. So, you know, if your parents adamantly uh, say you have to go to school, go to a school that you can do your other thing with and keep your schoolwork up. You know, I'm not saying let it lay or get a, if you're going to go into business, get a business degree. Uh, uh, the arts, you can get an art degree, but that's really for teaching and music and dance and all performing arts. You're better off doing other things, getting just a straight business degree or something, uh, do that or do that online. Uh, that's a whole nother thing. For an artist, by the time they're 25, they need to have already been through their college, which is auditioning, waiting on tables, uh, immersing. Uh, so uh, everything you do supports your goal, all right? This isn't my day job. This is to save money for going to New York so I can be a theater actor. Be around people who support you or in your inner circle that think the same way you do. If they're not supporting you, get you some new people. That's all I'm going to say. You don't have to do it immediately. You don't have to kick them to the curb, but get you some new people. Um, it's all about... Uh, where did I put that? Put it at the very beginning, I think, yeah. Well, anyway, uh, I guess the, the, what I wanted to say, the last thing was do, go out and do it and immerse yourself in it. Uh, whatever it is, immerse yourself as much as you can. Learn all about it. Watch the YouTubes. Do all that kind of thing. And the thing I'm going to leave you with is having an abundance mentality. And this isn't some spiritual, oh, the world just going to open up and give me stuff. No, what it means is there are options. There, there is going to be another job. Now, I'm not saying just, you know, I'm out, you know, take this job and shove it. No, there are other jobs. Start looking for them. Start, uh, it, like I said, immerse yourself in it. If there's another company you like, Go to learn about them. Learn, go to their clients and learn about them. Get to know some of their clients. I've had people, I used to sell building supplies, and I've had, uh, I never had to uh, really sell myself. I would always go and stop into the uh, new uh, construction projects and say, hi, this is who I am, this is what I do. I'm not here to poach you from your supplier. Uh, but if you ever get to where you need a different supplier or you're going to change, I wish you'd consider me. And I would just touch base with them every three to four months, go in and say, hey, if I saw they had a, a baseball out there, I'd say, hey, did you see about so-and-so? Hey, I wanted to leave you this ball, baseball pool I read about or, you know, those kind of things. And just leave quickly. Don't, don't hang around. Uh, and I got all the, the clients that I wanted that way. It's that, that's the abundance mentality. It's not saying, oh, well, you know, uh, I'm just going to get out of here, this sorry job. There's other jobs. Well, it might be a while for you to get that other job. Uh, and you might want to, uh, let me make one little adjustment here.